Hey everyone, this is a personal blog about mechanical damage to long hair. So my previous uh, vlog about long hair and what I do for my hair is by far my most popular post I've ever made. So, um, and I'm getting a lot of comments from people that are saying, uh, you know, can you please post more of them? So, wow, thank you. First of all, that's like super cool. The problem is I don't know what you really want. Are you looking for information on how to get really long hair? Are you looking for information on general hair care? Are you looking for um, hairstyles for long hair, how to grow your hair? I, I don't really know what you're looking for. So if you like the blog, if you want to see more and you can comment, hit my comments and just tell me kind of like what general topics you're interested in. In the meantime, I kind of picked a topic based on an experience I had. So I do have some information for you. So a couple months ago, I was traveling, and I, I, I usually braid my hair when I travel or I'm going to be real active. You need to keep your hair kind of back out of the way. It's going to get caught in doorways, all over the place. So uh, I braid my hair. It's a great way. It's easy. It keeps all the hair to my face, which I, I hate hair in my face and in general doesn't put too much pressure on any part of the scalp. So I have my braid and I'm sitting there in the car and I'm looking at my hair my hair's like and it looks awful, super dry, really looking in bad shape and I'm going, why in the world does my hair look so bad? That's just really weird. What I realized was I was traveling and I was wearing a backpack. Now the backpack of course sits in your little tuchus and my braid, because of its length, was sitting between the backpack and my butt. And when I was walking, the backpack was going back and forth across my hair and was creating this mechanical damage. So mechanical damage just means like something physically is happening to your hair that's hurting it, as opposed to like chemical damage, you know, from the sun or dyeing, you know, dyes and uh, products and stuff like that. And I think most of us tend to think of things like brushing your hair and look for things like that, maybe ironing your hair and look for that kind of mechanical damage, but we often overlook ways that our day-to-day -day life is hurting our hair. So you really need to look around at things that you do every day. Your seat belt, a purse, a backpack, the desk that you sit at, uh, the chair that you're sitting at. It's really common when I was in school, my hair would get caught in those little, uh, those little rivets on a desk and pull out a few hair. Well, if I sit there every day, five days a week, and it's doing that one or two times an hour, we're talking about some pretty significant damage. If you have hair that you feel like it can only get to this length and every few months you're going and they're cutting a couple in inches of damage off, there's probably something that you're doing to damage that hair. If you go in and your hair is getting progressively shorter, then yeah, your hair's not growing. If though every time you go, they're cutting it off and it's the same length, you're probably damaging the ends or you have an overzealous hairstylist, which is a problem many of us have. So I encourage you to look at some things. And if you're having breakage in the same spot, like the back of your head, shoulder length, bra length, things like that, look and try to find out what in your life you could be doing. If you're getting breakage here, are you wearing a backpack with your hair down? Do you carry a purse over one shoulder with your hair down? If it's at bra length, what's the height of your chair? Um, so things like that. So that is mechanical damage and figuring out how you're hurting your hair and then finding ways around it. Like for instance, I pulled my, my braid around front. That helped. In winter, I would wear a scarf with my hair in a braid. If I wore the scarf underneath my braid and went to work, I would get knots all underneath my hair. If I wore the scarf over my hair, I'd get knots all along the side and the back. Eventually, I was able to figure out that if I put on my turtleneck, put the hood up, tucked my braid, of course, into my, into not turtleneck, a uh, hooded sweatshirt, tucked it into my hooded sweatshirt, put the hood up, put the scarf around the hood, and then either flip the hood down or left it up, it would create a protection between my hair and the scarf when I stopped getting the knots. So I had to work outside. It was freezing. I had to figure out a way to deal with it. So if you figure out a way to deal with it, you're going to find that you're going to uh, minimize the breakage to your hair. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what kind of things you're looking for in future vlogs. See you then.